So when do we start? I guess we start now. <laughs> What's up everyone? Don't worry, we're not stoned. Not yet. No, not yet. <laughs> we, don't, we don't smoke anyways. No, we don't. We smoke cigars. Yes. Smoke cigars, drink scotch. Oh yes. A lot of beer. You better believe it. Um, Kev can't now because it's Lent. 40 so days. He's got, he's got, where are you Kev? He's got Perrier. Yep. Back um, on the wagon in 40 days. Okay, so anyways. Uh, We've been doing a lot of talking, trying to come up with an idea, what to do, um, product ideas, apps, this, that, we always like back and forth, back and forth. Um, now, a while ago, I had started doing reviews. I said, you know what? Reviews, I like, get a lot of views. That's why they're called reviews, right? Yeah, stupid joke. Um, and uh, so one day, you know, we're sitting down talking. So I've known Kev for a little while. Um, my name is Nino, also known as Zamboss and Kev, Kev. AKA Triple Quad. Triple Quad. Ew. All right, so uh, we've known each other for a little while and uh, One day we we're sitting down and we said let's do something finally. What's easy to do? I said I got a camera We buy a lot of gadgets. Let's do some reviews and like how to's and, and like, use my skills Yeah, so Kev's really tech oriented. I'm I don't know. We'll find out <laughs> what I am uh, I just buy a lot of gadgets and and like reviewing them so uh, we decided to team up and start a new, start, channel. Yeah, start a new channel. So and YouTube? We, yeah, here we go. Here uh, we go. So far it's called Shoppers Therapy because we help Lack you. of confidence, lack of, yeah, welcome yeah. to Shoppers Therapy. <laughs> so um, first up today is going to be a little review for the DeLonghi Perfecta Cappuccino machine. Um, it's an all-in-one machine. Right Kev? I believe it. Um, Actually, Kev suggested I get this one because he had one and he loves it. I've obviously went to YouTube to check out reviews and there's plenty of reviews about what this machine can do. And I said, you know what? There's not many reviews of how to take care of the machine. And that's the part that I struggle with is like taking care of stuff. Kev is like number one. So okay. he's like, you know what? I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna show you all the steps we're gonna do, what you have to do for descaling, take the machine apart, what parts you have to clean. I haven't used my machine that much. Kev is like three times a day. Um, for the last five yeah, years. Yeah, for the last five years. So he's taken- I got the exact same model. Yeah, he's got Perfecto. the machine apart and assembled in like 20 minutes. So he's seen like all the problems that can occur with this Most machine. Most consumers will have issues. Yeah, and hopefully, you know, you'll run into some of these problems too. Hopefully not. <laughs> he's but right. if you do, you'll be on our channel getting it fixed. That's it. What I meant to say was hopefully this video will find you if, God forbid, you run into those problems. Um, so anyways, uh, I guess we're gonna start taking apart the machine. Step one, Kev. What was the problem what you saw when you came over? First thing. Open the door. See that part right here? That's the infuser. And it it's not, in, not its, be in that position. No, it's just not, it's not in its main position. This usually happens when someone's unplugged the machine before it completely turned off. So, Pretty quick solution. Look at that. See, it's like flashing like that, but it's not really doing that in person. It doesn't flash like that. My machine is not buggy, don't worry. Just the camera, refresh rate. You turn it on. Now we want to obviously take it apart, so we're gonna turn it off. And if you let it turn off completely before you unplug it, it'll do a complete rinse. And wait, wait for it to be completely off. All right. Now it's off. Now it's off. Now we unplug, unplug. it. We move this glass out of the way. Then you look at the infuser. Look at that. And there nice we and go. Tucked it away, ready to go. Now we can start pulling apart this machine. First things first. Before I take it apart. Okay. What what do we need to set up here, Kev? Pretty simple. Just need two standard bowls because we're gonna fill them up for rinsing purposes and just a Phillips screwdriver. Phillips. That's all we need to get this ball rolling. Now. That's it. That's for this it. big machine, Kev? That's it. Key factors before we dive into this. What are you going to be able to repair by doing what we're doing today? You're, you're pretty much just doing an overall cleanup of the instrument. Some of the problems that you're going to be having with this is over long period of usage, at a, at a certain time you'll see while it's making coffee, the door will just swing open. And it'll stop in its middle of the run. Oh boy. Yep. Not fun. How does that happen? Well, if you come here and you look at the latches here, these latches, well, there's a lot of coffee and gunk that gets inside the door, and over time, the latch doesn't close properly. So when the machine's running, the door just keeps popping open. So if you follow these steps, that problem will go away. Another issue, a lot of times, the machine will tell you, hey, empty your, your coffee 
beans. Yeah, see, that's a problem that I was having is like after three uses, it would tell me that it's it's full. So uh, I, I had no idea. I would I'd be like, why do I have to empty it? I've just made three exactly. coffees. There will be only two pucks in here, but all of a sudden it's telling you that it's fully needs to empty it. So this is going to also solve that problem. Additionally, this will also solve the problem when you're frothing milk. A lot of times you'll realize that it's not frothing anymore. It's just liquidy coming out. This is going to solve that problem too. Perfect. These are the main issues that we're going to take care of. All right, first with the basics. The basics are, this is for the water spout. This comes off, open the door, pull out the, the water bin, pull out the top, get rid of the water. Empty, empty, empty. I'm going to leave it in here for now. We're going to wash them later. Now, machine's off. Obviously, pull this out, get the bin out. Don't, don't do like me, don't forget to wash it. Look, mine's dirty. Okay, get this bad boy out. Pull this bad boy out too. Great, now for the infuser. The infuser, if you let it turn off properly, pretty simple. It's a squeeze, pull out, done. See all this gunk? This gunk is what causes the sensor to hit off to tell you that your bin is empty. So we're gonna clean this off later. Right now, we're just in disassembling mode. We're gonna get rid of Nino's beer. Yep. Put this over here next to the bananas. Now let's flip this bad boy. One issue people have with the DeLonghi is that the coffee doesn't stay warm enough, long enough. So people, what they do is they leave their cups on here for their cup to warm up. Here's a chick you do. Just fill up your cup full of water, throw in the microwave for 30 seconds. Throw out the water and your coffee's hot. <laughs> So simple. So simple. People forget. Two screws. Pretty simple stuff. Pops right open. Don't lose your screws. Lift. It's a lifting motion. Lift comes right off. Lift and pull back. And pull. There you go. The back panel never needs ever cleaning, so we can actually put that aside. Never gets dirty. And if it's dirty in the back, you got a more major problem. All right. Here. Next step. These two panels have to come out. Those are si simple. Screw one, screw two, screw three, screw four. Don't worry about this. Don't freak out. We're not going in there. That's for another video. All right, so we got all the screws out. Yep. And uh, so let's just- a simple pull. Sure. We'll get the other side off first. Now, like I said, I don't want anybody to panic. We're not going to get into the debt, but quick overview. If people are interested, this is when it says it's heating up the element. You're looking at the bad boy. That's the element that's heating up. It's still hot. This is the mechanics of the infuser that makes it go up and down and turn around and so on and so forth. So, just fun facts. Now, has there been any parts back here that you've had to replace? Yes, I have actually in the past. I had a leak in, our, in my machine. It was actually from this joint right here i had to pull out that pin look inside there was a cracked o-ring got the o-ring from the longi directly put it back in put back the tube my leak was gone perfect so number one possible leaks in the back here like you said grab an o-ring and uh but if you're not comfortable with that you know so um one item that i want to show you guys right now before i get into the deep cleaning of the front it's the front panel here Right, I had an issue. We uh, at home usually make coffee three, four times a day. We have a lot of people that come over a lot of times. So we're using this machine nonstop. At a position where my cappuccino machine button broke, where my power button actually broke. Don't get me wrong, guys. The machine's a great machine, but when you use and abuse, things break. So I'm gonna show you how to remove this front panel. I mean, I mean in the end, it is it is a home machine. It's not it's not a commercial grade, and you yes. you excessively use it compared to what probably most people are gonna Correct. use. Correct. So to be able to take out the front door, believe it or not, the top panel has to come out. You could try to do it just removing the screws, but you're giving yourself. Uh, it, 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 don't do it. Remove this front panel. Put it that way. So pretty simple. Two screws here. One here. Two. 
ribbon cable. So there's a clip here. Little clip there. Don't force. You'll break it. Just when you just to get it off the little nudge and to be able to pull out the ribbon. Perfect. That's it. Don't force it. Just a little nudge. On the other side. Two more screws here. It's very awesome that they're all the same screws. And that I don't know if you guys noticed, but I held my finger here to hold it. This is the last screw. You don't want it just to pop out. So what I do is I take this, when I'm done the screwdriver and three quarter of the way, I finish it off with my fingers. And so I can grab a good grip. Boom, look at that, pops right off. Pops right off. Finish. So I'm not gonna go in more depth, but if my buttons were broken, two screws pop out here, comes out, two more screws pop out. I just silicone or crazy glued the button back at its place and we were done. Perfect. This is where it gets interesting. This is your door. This is the hinge of the door. There are door screws. Why do we want to take the door out? Like I told you, this is where the 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 uh, the coffee drips in through the nozzles. So a lot of, over time, a lot of heavy usage, you can already see it. This is all coffee, coffee, coffee. It starts going inside the hinge of the hinge doors and your door starts popping open. So I like to clean it from time to time. So pretty simple stuff. So this is why it's so important to take care of stuff. You know, these machines aren't cheap. Uh, I was lucky, I got mine on super sale at the bay. Um, you know, just than, good at that. Yeah, I just, I just get good deals. I don't know. <laughs> I pay full price, I'm a sucker. <laughs> I got about, uh, I paid about the quarter of the retail price off of this. It was on sale for 50% plus an extra 20% when you signed up for their credit card, which I just paid off right away and then canceled my credit card after. Um, but that doesn't mean maintenance for your stuff is not important. Um, the longer you maintain something, the cheaper it's going to cost you in the long run. You know, when you can do this stuff yourself, you're going to save yourself a lot of money. You're not going to have to call someone to repair this every time and pay what? 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks an hour for some of the most simple things. Uh, it just takes a little bit of like know-how, um, a little bit of faith that you can do it, and a little bit of YouTube. That's it. And this is why hopefully we're gonna save you a lot of money in the long run, being able to show you stuff that you might not find on the internet otherwise, and um, yeah, just, this is why we're doing this, you know? We're like you. We're giving you what we would want. That's it. All right, All right back to the show. So I got my four screws out, right. before I pop anything out, here's the hinge of the door. You want to remove the hinge of the door. Two ways of doing this. You can get a plier and do it, or you can do it by hand. If you're doing it by hand and it's stuck, most likely you've had a little coffee drip or so on. Here's a trick. Kind of just turn it. Twist it. Twist it. So do the unnudge, twist. It'll In unnudge itself. Once it's twisted out, then you'll be able to pull it out in most cases. Most cases. And because I haven't used mine very much, it boom. look at that. Look how clean that is. It's and as if it just hinge. came out of the the packaging. So at the moment we're actually done with the machine itself. We'll get back to it after. And we can focus on the door. Okay. So now to two remove the back. Screws. Yeah, gotta remove these two back screws. Right there, one. And here's two. Guys, these are the only two screws that are different in the whole lot. So make sure you don't confuse these two screws with any other screw. The other ones, the colors are different, but they're the same sizes and diameters. So nothing to worry about. Okay, and look at that. Beautiful. Comes right up. So as you can see, Dino's coffee machine is clean. He doesn't use it off. But I want you to pay attention on the bottom here. This was inside the door. Look at all this gunk oh, that just came on. out. I'm going to get the Scott towel and show you guys for a second, just because, here. So what I'm trying to explain is if over time when you use it, these hinges get clogged up. Because look at this inside of the door. Ooh, All that is coffee. Look at that nastiness. So coffee starts building up here, starts building up here, starts building up. Oh! There. Hmm? Don't worry, it's just a spring. There's a spring. That hit me right in the teeth. <laughs> it did not break. No, it did not break. It's just a spring that's popped open. So it's it's, it's it comes right here, and then we'll put the spring back after. 
I do with the spring though. Mm. Oh, you too. Back on. Back in business. All right, so. It was just a spring that popped open. So we put the spring back on the top. Just in case this happens in to case. you. Why not? This is the part where it goes from the bottom, the top, the smaller edge of the spring goes in the bottom part. Really the key part is the long part. It's going to click on to this side over here like this. We can do that after. Perfect. Yeah, let's just leave that aside for now. Yeah, we're going to pull it out, put it here, put this here. So, now that we got this bad boy done. As we were saying, build up of coffee yeah. on the inside. So, all this coffee build up here as you can see. And over time, if you're a heavy user of the instrument, then you're going to notice that if your hinges are not going to work, your door is going to get clunky. So you want to clean all this up inside. We'll do the cleanup later. Now, here's the next step. The next step is the actual uh, dripping tray where the coffee comes out of. This is tricky. I want to point something out and be very careful. This is the only part of the Longi's design that I don't like. You see these two buttons here in the back? There's an actual spring behind it. Hold on. Stand on that. I'll do it here. You see? There's two little buttons here. It's not focusing. There here and here. All right. It's behind it. You don't see yeah. it. There we go. There's a spring and a little button in the back. Most of the time, that thing comes right off when you do this. And it's a little bit tricky to put it back on, but we'll do it later. So, I want you to pay attention. I'm moving this up and down on this side. Look what's happening on this side. See the stoppers are here. So pretty simple. Just push your stoppers in, in, and this bad boy will come right off. Now just be slow because you're gonna lose those two springs. And that spring right here, that's not the spring, but that's the, uh, the little point. And the spring is somewhere here. There it is. Don't lose it. Please don't lose it. And I'll show you where it goes after. Now we put it aside. Oh, yeah. Okay. And we got the infuser out. So, officially we are done. Uh, here's the top part that I forgot to take out. We are officially done in taking it apart. Now we need to clean it up. So, let's start the cleaning process. First things first, infuser. How to clean this bad boy. Has this ever broke on you? No, the infuser. you don't want this to break. If this breaks on you, it's time for a new machine. <laughs> AKA, first thing, never do, no, nada, basta, stop, whatever you want to call it. Never use soap. Ever, ever, ever. No detergent, no degreaser, no soap, no nothing. What you want is simple hot water. Good. All right, Ready. so water's so, at its temperature. Yeah. Nice it's, and hot. It's, this is soaking hot now. It's like it, it, this is scorching hot. You don't want this. You see the, as we say in French, boucan. So the steam you coming on. You don't want it mild. You want it hot. But you don't want it steaming hot. You don't want to be scorching hot. My gauge is pretty simple. I should be able to leave my hand under it. And it's comfortable, but it's still very hot. Pretty simple. Don't be afraid. Submerge it. Submerge it, submerge it, submerge it. We all live in the yellow submarine. Yellow submarine. <laughs> submerge the bad boy. All the way, make sure it's all the way oh, Look at that, you already see all the, all the green coming out. Yep. Remember guys, no soap. I'm gonna put a big banner in front here that says no soap. Yeah, you put soap in this guy, that's it. Kiss your confuser goodbye. That was the first thing. You gotta soak it a good 10 15 minutes. That's the first element. Second element, move this guy a little bit like this. Gonna move this guy out here a little bit. Open this up. Oh, I thought that. There you go. This is a simple clean. Hot water, you can use it. Detergent on this, no problem. Detergent, that's it. All right, so this is okay. You can put some soap in this one. Soap it, detergent. I washed earlier because I forgot I had some coffee pucks left in there. That's it. And I didn't want to gross Kev out. That's it. And then my assumption would be these four remaining parts we're gonna wash. Right Kev? Um, now, 
I'm also assuming that these four parts being plastic, nothing really moving, it's going to be okay to use soap. Yeah, we're going to use soap and water. Perfect. So we'll, we'll save you the, the headache of having to watch us wash more stuff. Yeah. Um, we're going to wash it and then we'll be right back. All right, guys. Well, we thought we were recording, but we weren't. What we were trying to tell you before is that this has been sitting here for 15 minutes and there was a lot of gunk. You don't see it anymore because we just cleaned it off. There was a lot of you gunk. You can see it on the end of the toothbrush. It's on here on the toothbrush. Very gently, you just take a little toothbrush. Very gently, you don't go rough. You just kind of give it a little nudge. You don't really cleaning it. What you're doing is you're just dislodging. You're agitating the, the debris that's on there. Yeah, and then what you're going to do, see, just a little bit like that. And let it go back in there and let it sit there again for another few minutes. You want the coffee to actually leave the infuser on its own. If you just got to give it a little nudge, that's not a problem. So, look at our bad boys here. Everything's all nice and cleaned up. I'm going to give my little toothbrush here a little thing. A little nudge. Now, for the machine itself, you don't see here, but there's actually a lot of coffee in there. I'll try to focus on that. Look at that. There you go. You see some coffee yeah. stains there. But here's a fun fact. Check this out. Watch. And right up here, there's some coffee stains. Um, it's a little dark. Watch this. Oh, where are we going? We went up on the top there. Look at all that coffee. Oh. That's where the coffee bean drips out of and hits the infuser. Right? See all this? Coffee, coffee, coffee. Well, coffee is still a natural product. Guess what? Mold. Mold over time. I know. You know how I know that, Kev? Because there was it, mold on your coffee beans. The no, there's not mold in my in my cup. <laughs> not in my cup. You know how in I know that, Kev? There's mold in this thing in the uh, where the uh, the puck sit. Um, over time. Yeah, I've noticed that. Uh, so what am I doing? I'm just giving it a little toothbrush feel to it. All around here, just trying to get all the coffee out. Notice how I put a little Scott towel in there, so whatever powder has to fall falls into here. Each everybody's machine will be a little different because if you haven't done yours in a long time, there's going to be a lot of coffee. But like he knows, he hasn't used it that often. Not too bad. So I just took another Scott towel. I'm just going to dampen it a little bit. There you go. Here we go. Get up, pull this guy out, and I'm just gonna get a nice little wetness. Look at that. Put that bad boy in there like that, like that. I'm trying to get it all out. See, get all that coffee out. Don't worry. You're saying it's a machine. It's getting wet. Nope, nothing to worry about. Anyways, we don't reassemble it until it dr air dries. I should have said from the beginning, this is a pretty long process. <laughs> it's not a 10 minute fix. So if you gotta leave your house, don't start. All right, so, milk infuser. So here's the milk infuser. Now, there's a product that you need for this. Which I, I don't, don't have. I, he doesn't have it. I thought he did, I didn't bring it. You can buy it from any store that sold you the machine. It's, it's actually to, it's made specifically for the milk infuser is to remove the milk debris. All right, that's where you need your second, your second bowl for it. Pretty simple stuff. Take out the lid, so far you know it. Take this bad boy out. This guy, force it. Two-handed, two thumbs, both sides. Boom, pops right out. Look, all that milk, gone. This one, same thing, how I do it. Thumb here. Use this part of my finger and give it a good nudge. Comes right off. Milk, tip, turn, come out. And the actual head itself goes in there. So what you would do is you would fill it up with not as hot as this, just hot water. And you would put that milk product in there. Depending on the product that you chose, they will give you instructions for how much to pour. Hi YouTube. <laughs> it's dry. Everything's dry. Um, so we're going to start reassembling the machine now. And what um, seems to be the most complicated part to do is putting actually the, um, the spout back in its housing here. 
The and culprit. This is the culprit right here. That's that. See, this little thing. Sometimes the smallest things are the biggest problem. Yeah. Um, we'll show you what we found to be the easiest way to reassemble this. Um, so take it away, Kev. Take your spring, put in the black cap, put it back in its place. There's two holes, but one of them has a big bar that goes in between yeah. it. So you don't use that one. No. That don't would not that make one. sense. That's right. You would you be go. stuck there for many, many days and hours if you try to do it the other way. So, here you go. This guy's in its place. Great. All right. Now, put the spout in first. Let me show you how that works. Spout, clips. Remember, your clips have to clip on. So... You just kind of push it in like that. That's it. So let's just see it from the front here. The spout should be facing on the front side. And, and in the back, you'll, it's done. you'll see the clips. Clips here like this. Yeah. All right. Now you're going to have to push those clips down for them to come out. Yeah. So now. The trick is now hold the door up. Use your hand to lift. Oh my God. I'm out of battery almost. Yeah. Lift this part. Then this guy has to go in, right? So how does this guy go in? You'll notice that there's, on this guy, three oh. areas. One, two, three areas. There's one, two, three areas here. All of them need to fit. So, what do you do? You hold it up. You line it up. Don't force it, because you'll notice that the tip's going to try to fly off. With your hand, push it in. And gradually push it in. Now that it's in, Go all the way. This part has to be flat. Flush. So just don't be afraid. Give it a little nudge. Boom. Flat. And, and you're going to know rattle. that it's done properly when there's a little bit of resistance here. And there's nothing rattling inside yeah. or moving. If, if this is just falling on itself, you know that you did it right. wrong. And there's no so, pieces. Right? There you go. That's it. Most now. complicated part. Done. Alright, so... We'll Sorry, we have to recharge our batteries, but step one, done. This to make sure it's flush, yeah. and I'm guessing, no, we don't screw the top back in just No, yet. don't play with it. Don't play with it. Nope, don't. Don't nope, touch nope, it. Nope. Don't touch it until Kev says to touch it. Until TQ says to touch it, or says, go get some scotch. But I can't drink right now, so not happening. Next video, hopefully, uh, Lent will be over, and we're actually going to start having some scotch and some beer. In the videos, yep. doing like a review of our drinks Ooh. while we're reviewing whatever it is we're reviewing. That's it. Let me come on the other side. Of you. All right, Kev, come on this side. Do I need to go on the other side? No, absolutely not. All I'm right. Okay. Next thing is the hinge. So if you remember this popped off before, which yep. normally doesn't happen, but it may happen. So I put the spring back here. You know, it's a long part on the top. I hope you guys cleaned it and you cleaned all here for the door. Tip. Tip goes back in here. Turn it to make sure this side clips in, and then the spring side, if you see it. Yeah, the long side should be yeah. in line with right there. That's it. No, don't play with it. This part comes on next. This is the key part, right? Don't try to just put it on, it won't work because the hinges have to go through these holes. You gotta go at an angle so that the hinges fit, but this guy. You gotta push forward. You gotta push up. Otherwise. So, so that it fits in. It's gotta go right in. I see it through there, but there. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Jackpot. Look, all closed. Yeah. Now the first thing I would do once you got this closed up is I'll lock this piece in because you don't want it to move anymore. Yeah. And what did we say about the the? Uh, we actually, while we were on break, waiting for the batteries to charge, we, uh, we noticed something. realized that the, we, mine's a newer machine, so Delonghi did make some adjustments on the screws for different. There are actually three different sizes. The long ones are for the panels, the short ones are for the top that we took out, the different colored ones are the doors, and these ones we knew were different are for the top yeah, ones. Yeah, those ones we already knew. There you go, doors back in its place, put the screws back in. Dun dum! Dun -dum. Alright. All in place. Okay, next. Where is our hinge? Our hinge is right. There's our hinge. The hinge is just a regular metal piece. Nothing uh, special about it. No odd way of putting it in. So the trick is pretty simple. 
as long as you line the bottom one in its place like that the rest is easy fun fact if you actually close the door it makes it a little bit easier hmm. I just learned something new today <laughs> okay here's the kicker See my metal piece is not all the way in, that's why it's sticking out so much. You don't want that. So you're gonna have to play around with the with the hinge a little bit. Oops, sorry, sorry. kid. Until you get it in. So just don't worry, play around with it. Jig it in. Yeah. Wiggle it back and forth until boom. It goes all the way through. See now? And then you notice on the bottom now it's all the way through. Now we're good. So the door can close. Next step, how to put the front panel back. So let's get that front panel. Simple. Now just for, remember the shorter screws go first. Just to uh, play it safe, what I like to do is I screw in one screw. Once I got the one screw coming around, I pop in back my ribbon cable. It's in, leave it loose, don't worry about it. Now I go ahead and do my rest of my screws. I like to go one side each. Like a car, cross. So we got the front plate screwed on now. Um, obvious next step would be the sides. Yes sir. So be careful, there's one side for each. The, the one with the, if you compare it, both panels. It's the one with the cutout. The cutout is a water side. So the, the top hinges you have to apply it upwards and then on the bottom once you apply it upwards look there's hinges that lock onto these slots here like that. So the idea is assuming this is in its place now you would go in after. Yes. Alright. Next panel. Panel one done. Panel two. Panel two. Put the top on. Put the bottom on. Should just clip into place yeah. and then slide it a little bit forward. What you can do if you want, just if you're not confident, is tilt it a little, but just be careful with the coffee beans because most likely your coffee beans are not out. When you put it, you just see from the bottom if you're in its slot. And if you are, just give it a slide. And you see now, you get perfectly edged through. So, next step. You gotta screw the panels back in. There's four screws like last time, each side. There you guys. Last but not least, on the back. Back panel. The back panel. So, you want it to look. I don't know if the Longi is gonna love us or hate us for, for putting this repair video, well, maintenance video online. Maybe they'll love us. Hopefully, they'll love us and they'll they, send they us some, don't some stuff. Care. But their authorized service centers are not going to be very happy. All right, there's the back panel. But you got to hand it to Delonghi. They've made it simple to take the machine apart. You yeah, understand the, there's people that there are handy out there and the Nespresso machine. I tried to take that thing apart, and it's like it's like Apple. Like it's like super enclosed, patented. Like you can't see anything. On how the insides work. Well, at least the one, the one machine I took apart to try to fix. Because he didn't call me. It's the okay. Things on his own. I threw it out and bought a new one. There you go. <gasps> All right. There she is. Ta -da. Almost back to normal. We'll just put it back in its original spot because now we're putting in the accessories. Now, first step is the infuser. Guys, the infuser should be dry when you put it in. At least like 98% dry. 98%. No, 97. No, so, 97 and a half. 98. The infuser should come in very simply and it should go out very simply. So here it is, where it even says push, you just push it in and that's it. If you're having a hard time or you're struggling or anything like that, 
Uh, I suggest you stop what you're doing. Try to just realign it, make sure you know, That's it. goes See? in straight. The iron fuse are still a little bit wet. So, so we're going to let we're it dry a little work. bit we're, because we're, we're I'm running out of battery it, but again. We just too. won't turn it on. <laughs> there you go. All right. Next step. Pretty simple. Tray. Tray, prep it. Here's this guy. The rest of this stuff could be a little bit wet. Yeah, and this is basic stuff that you'd already pretty much be able to figure out on your own yeah. before the review. So. Put the bad boy in there. Fill up your water tank. Yep. Yeah. And that, ba -ba -ba. I'll show you ready. how to put back the milk machine. Yeah. The nozzle, the spout I should say, and here's the metal piece. You can put any way, shape, or form you want, but the original form, you'll notice that there's a dent. Oh, let me try to focus on that. There's a dent right here. There you go. See there's a dent? And if you'll notice, on the spout, there's a little area for a dent. We're going to assume that 1 plus 1 equals 2. And that the dent goes into the dent. Correct. Now. Voila. So you take your milk spout. Pretty simple. It can only fit one way, guys. It shouldn't be sticking up. It only fits one way. Just give it a good push. This guy, same principle, comes in this way. Just give it a good push, but there's no click. After that, here, put it in. Voila. And put it back, and you're ready to go. Close the door. Put okay. The water. The I water. All right. We decided to take the opportunity to descale this bad boy. If you don't know what descaling does, well, water hardness causes calcium deposits. Whoops. In your machine. So if you don't descale, well, guess what? Calcium buildup. Calcium buildup. Oh, I'm so And smart. your machine gets broken. Boom, boom, boom. And then that's something we can't repair. Oh, well, we can, but we don't really want to. So, uh, you can buy the scaler anywhere. You don't need to buy the Longi brand. They all do this exact same thing. You fill the packet, you put it in, or if you buy a big jug, read the instructions. Put it in, fill up with water. Now, where should they fill it up to? Probably just under the, the full mark? Yeah, I don't go max, but that's pretty much it. So, so where's the cap for this guy? There it is. So, for the de -scaler, you're gonna need the water spout. So I suggest you put that back in its place. Put this guy in here. Put this, you need some kind of jug for the water. Turn the machine on. All right, so you press the P button. Descaling, there's many options by the way guys. So, you find the scaling, you say, okay, is this button here? Confirm, okay, add the scaler, okay. And there it goes. Now is it gonna empty the whole no. thing in one shot? No, no this process takes a good 30 minutes. Yeah, this, this, we're not gonna be, recording this whole thing it does what it needs to do you just wait for the, the instructions the instructions on the screen follow what it that's says it up there. you see it stops i suggest you just dump this out put it back it's going to descale and then it's going to go through the process and when it's done it's pretty much going to tell you okay uh descaling is finished you're going to take out the water jug you're going to rinse it fill it up full of water put it back it's going to do a full rinse once the rinse is complete you enjoy your coffee and that was Shopper's Therapy. Yeah. So we hope you guys enjoyed the first video. Um, plenty more to come, like we said. It's gonna be a little bit of everything. Some how-tos, some repairs, uh, some reviews, not just technology, everyday things. Um, we're just gonna make it fun. Fun yeah. little channel for you guys to like enjoy. Exactly. Um, try to give a different perspective on the, the stuff that we buy, like your daily life that 
We'll be reviewing scotches too, by the yes. way. Yes, if you yes. like scotches. All kinds of scotches. And if you like microbreweries and craft beer, Cigars. definitely, definitely, you're going to want to check this out. Yep. Um, so if you guys can help out, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, anything else? Nope, that's it. All right, thanks for stopping by, guys. Enjoy See your you coffee. See you next time.